Before the age of the twilight set upon the gods, a legend rose to claim his place among them. And even though Kratos sat on the throne as the new god of war, he was haunted by visions of his family. A family he himself murdered. But the hands of death could not defeat him. The sisters of fate could not control him. And on this day, the man, the legend, Kratos, will have his revenge. Hi, God's Own Medicine, PS4, Medic Maniac, YouTube. Bit of a different video from me today. Uh, as you can see, God of War 3, and you saw hopefully the introduction if I've done this right. Uh, because this video I want to talk about Kratos as a character, and um, a, a preview that I read on a game review site that I was a bit annoyed with some of the wording. And I'm a bit annoyed with this particular site, um, their viewpoint of games like God of War and Kratos as a character. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll read the bit of the preview that I'm ticked off with and hopefully I'll put a link in the description to this preview. And it's a preview of the new God of War game coming up, the one set you know, with Nordic mythology. So, one of our biggest questions for the final game is where exactly it's going with this side of, Kr side of the story. Kratos, as originally presented, is a completely immoral monster who kills without remorse and often without need. He's always been the quintessential angst-ridden avatar for impotent teenage rage, and yet the new game gives every indication that it's going to deconstruct that image and perhaps even make a comment 
upon the toxic masculinity which Kratos has previously been a poster boy for. Right. Um, games like God of War 3, God of War, the God of War series um, resonate with me personally. From things that happened in my personal life. Um, and I wrote an email to this particular gaming site which I'm going to read you. Dear GC, I'm not down with this Kratos bashing, nor am I down with lumping Kratos and his anger in with toxic masculinity. I presume you do know this do know Kratos' story and the story through the God of War games, yes? If so you'll understand why he might want vengeance with Zeus. If not, then may I suggest taking a gander at this God of War Ascension trailer? And I linked the live trailer, the one where he'd made a blood oath to Ares and his, you know, wife and daughter um, were taken from him. Obviously in the trailer it's different to how it happens in the game, but the sense of loss it with Kratos is still great. So I continue. I really like it when games take subjects like religion and the damage it causes to people and their loved ones. It's an important topic that is handled well by games such as God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn. My life has been drastically adversely affected by religion forced upon me from the age of two. I'm disabled as a direct result. I've lost a huge part of my life because of religion, the area where I was born and grew up, streets I walked, friends I had, family. My sister was almost murdered by someone in that religion. I'm angry too. If God actually existed instead of being a fictional character, I'd want to kill him for it. My anger is my anger toxic masculinity. No, my anger is a normal human response. I'm glad developers address subjects like shunning in Horizon Zero Dawn, things that cause humans severe trauma and lead to all manner of mental health issues, isolation, loneliness and even suicide. I'm glad video games relate to me and help me go through things in my head. Kratos suffered loss, so have I, and it hurts. A lot. Yet Kratos gave hope to humanity at the end of God of War 3, and then I link the end of God of War 3 where um, Kratos decides not to um, give hope to the god and, and kills himself, and thus releases the power in him which was hope to the rest of humanity and not give it to the god who was craving it. Kratos cared, he felt, and he acted in the story. In my life I have given my daughter, whom I raised all by myself, the freedom to be who she wants, to do what she wants, and to believe what she wants, along with the freedom to find out about all of it. I've noticed a tone on your site for some time that feels like some games are not viewed truly objectively. God of War being one of them, and then I put my game tag, Crypto Medicine. As with my other emails to this site about things like Anita Sarkeesian and linking Troy Levitt's videos um, as a flip side to Sarkeesian's biased and distorted feminist frequency videos my emails never got published you know um, just like my emails about the broken games to do with Pez and to do with Forza I could have added in my email that my daughter's aunt is dead because of that religion I could have added that when my father died in Cyprus my brother phoned me up for the first time in over 10 years to ask if I could go out there to the funeral 
in three days. The fact that he missed out on his own niece, my daughter, he missed out on all her upbringing and he wouldn't even talk to me when I went because of the shunning that that religion, that excuse for a religion, has people abide by. I'm angry. You know? And God of War for me is a piece of entertainment from a mythology that, I mean, I grew up as a kid watching stuff like Jason and the Argonauts, Sinbad the Sailor. And to be a full grown man, to have gone through, I mean, I've been through a lot to do with religion, and I understand. The mental state that people can be in. I understand the control. I understand the damage it can do to individuals and families. And I understand the anger. You know, and I think it's great when video games take subjects like religion and, and show the shunning, like I said in Horizon Zero Dawn, and show the hurt and the pain that Kratos has been through. And to use a feminazi term like toxic masculinity is derogatory because it shows that, you know, there is no understanding of this subject and it is not treated with respect. Um, I mean, the site is, you know, is. It doesn't have credibility because obviously they they give broken games nine out of ten. They don't put the flip side to Sarkeesian's videos like I've mentioned, and they don't treat this subject with any kind of awareness. And they wouldn't even print my email. <laughs> it's a bit of a personal message from me, and it it means a lot. My gamer tag is God's Own Medicine because I'm a fan of an album called God's Own Medicine by a band called Emission. And it will ever be that way. But I'm also a big fan of games like God of War, of games like Devil May Cry, of games, you know, where religion is dealt with, like Horizon Zero Dawn, and treated with knowledge that it causes pain and suffering because it does. Uh, I hope I haven't gone over time for my little video. So I'm going to cut this off now and I'm going to say, as always, whatever you do, take care.